Hey guys, it's Catch Films HD and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys three tips to fix stuttering playback in DaVinci Resolve 19. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Tip number one, generate optimized media. Optimized media is generated in a format and resolution that is higher for your computer to process compared to the original high resolution footage. So in order to go ahead and activate this, what you want to do is go to your timeline and right here, you just want to right click and click on generate optimized media and it's going to do its thing. Comparing how your timeline is, it might take a couple of minutes or even a couple of seconds. In this case, it took a couple of seconds and then we just click on play. It has that smooth playback for us. The second tip would be timeline playback resolution. The timeline playback resolution temporarily lowers the resolution of the video during playback only. It makes it easier for your computer to handle high resolution files. And the good thing about this is that it does not affect the resolution of your exported project or how your footage is processed for rendering. So in order to go ahead and just do that, what you want to do is click on playback right here at the top. And on timeline playback resolution, you can either change it to half or to quarter so the difference would be it's pretty notable if i if i have my uh preview right here it looks kind of blurry but if you click on play you get constant frame rate you get constant uh uh playback and if i click back on full this is how it actually looks whenever you're ready to export this you can just export it and the quality is going to go back to full and not in half or quarter just depending on where you have it tip number three render in place Render in place creates a render version of a specific clip or multiple clips on your timeline and replaces with the original clips with the rendered version. It helps with effects, color grades, and even adjustment clips. So one way to even maximize this uh, render in place would just get your timeline or just anything that you have uh, and just make a uh, compound clip, just call it uh, render, right? Next, you want to right click on it and click on render in place, which is on top of here. Clip name, right? Render is fine. Format. You can either click QuickTime or MP4, whatever you like to. Encoder. If you don't have your NVIDIA, just click on the native or whatever you have right here. Encoding profile. You want to click on high and make sure that includes video effects, fusion composition, color grades. And that's basically it. You want to click on render and it's going to show you where you want to save your videos, select folder. And it's just basically going to render in place. So whenever you go back, you should have that smooth playback for you. Right now, let's say you want to adjust it. You made some mistakes. You want to go and go back and fix it. You could always right click it and put decompose to original. Right here, decompose in place using clips only and it goes back to your timeline and you can go ahead and mess with the settings something like this you go again your compound render in place and it already has your settings saved so guys hopefully you guys enjoy this quick little video remember it just depends on the system that you're editing quality of the videos and the effects of your timeline there's a lot of fact distortions but hopefully these tips work so next time that you're editing you have a smoother uh, playback compared to before so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to please subscribe and hit the like button and see you guys later see you guys